Welcome back to Sharing Your Stories. This time I'm bringing you to Gerardo Garcia, a person that during the day is working in the number sector, but during his entire life, he is more than that. He's a social media expert, but recently he did even a greater transition to become a citizen developer. If you have never heard about this concept, is the kind of people that is maybe you, our listener, maybe a doctor, a nurse, or anyone that is now capable of building bots, apps, or any kind of software without knowing a lot of things about coding. But I'm not going to tell you more about that. Maybe Gerardo can give us a small introduction about him and why he decided to become a citizen developer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Federico. Well, yes, uh, Gerardo Garcia, Alvarado, and I'm a big believer of uh, innovation and uh, continuous improvement. Uh, therefore, I'm always uh, searching for, uh, um, for learning new things, new, 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 um, uh, new even processes, new ways of working as well. Uh, and, and well, I, I am always uh, keen uh, to know more about technology. I'm a geek, a geek of gadgets and this kind of, of, of uh, if if it can be said like that. Uh, my father was actually, actually my father is uh, engineer in computing systems, computer systems. And maybe because of that, I have always this curiosity about uh, computers. Uh, since I was uh, even uh, younger, I was always the person who was fixing the computers in a way that very uh, archaic, but they were always, were always like that trying new things, new apps. Uh, when in the iPhone went out for the first time, I was one of the first person trying to, to understand how it works. And so I'm those kind of, of people. And, and well, that, that's why I, when I hear that there is opportunity to learn uh, software is called UAPAT, right? UAPAT, uh, I said, yes, let's go for it. Uh, and it was uh, in my company. So my company offered that part. Uh, it's a special program where any employee can participate. You just need to, to, to sign uh, for, for it. Of course, you are having, or you are being aware that uh, you, you will uh, even spend more time than your job hours and so on. So it's something that is, is is very, uh, I took it with different experience and that's why I, I, I took it. Of course, uh, I have my normal job, but uh, this it, it is very um, being pushed by the management because at the end, uh, robots will make us or artificial intelligence will make us or help us uh, more efficient uh, uh, in terms of uh, Productivity when uh, while working in 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 all the reports that we are doing uh, any task that is related to the computers uh, those robots are helping that they they want to promote with all the employees that all those manual activities that require a lot of human effort can be done by robots and we can just focus in in actually. Uh, better improvements. So that's why they, they are being pushed on that. And I, I, I definitely took it. My yeah. robot that I was doing it or that I uh, made during this program is something very simple. Just look, search into a database, a contract, and also uh, if this has a certain revision that we call due diligence. So this is this is uh, what this is mentioning. Of course, when you are going into that system, it's a huge database. You need to check, okay, open here, open here. But it's a lot of job. It's a lot of job. So that's why that robot is making automatically that part. And 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 that's why uh, is 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 the company is being focused to all the employees to learn those kind of skills. When uh, it was proposed, I said, well, but actually I don't have any background. 
yes, I was uh, preparing some computers, but I, I don't have that knowledge. Uh, I wanted to, to, to study Python uh, a few months, no, one year ago, two years ago, but at the end I didn't do it. Uh, so, but I'm just curious about it. However, I don't have the pro the perfect background. And when I propose, okay, let's go to try it. I don't have any, and I realized that actually I like it. Learning, I was spending time, even it was uh, 1 a.m., 12 a.m., uh, 2 a.m., uh, and trying to figure out, clicking here, there, trying to learning, failing, uh, improving, and so on. So. Uh, it was uh, quite uh, interesting experience, let's say, but really love it. And, and of course, uh, developing that bot, it was kind of huge, let's say, for me, uh, great feeling because I say, okay, I don't have background and I could develop that. So, um, of course, UAPAD uh, has two versions, uh, as may, you may know. UAPAD that is for people that have some background for developing and the other that is UAPAD uh, X, where it's more for, for people that doesn't have background, but still they, they can work on, on that and into building uh, bots and that I learned that. So uh, of course, at the end, if you need to build more um, complex things, you either way you will need to have that kind of knowledge at the end of coding and so on. Uh, but that is the, the thing. We had some team that it was guiding us, okay? It was guiding us to say, okay, you can do this, but at the end you, you, gen you generate the idea. You say, okay, maybe we can try that code in uh, for doing this on so, on so on. So it, it was something that it was passing to me. Of course, we have that guide, but at the end you are the person who is generating the idea and who is uh, making the bot that is running automatically. So that, that is the, the thing that, uh, that I saw. Um, <laughs> and how difficult it was for you to build the bot? Because you did, as you said, you didn't have a background in software development. It, was it easy or was it hard? Uh, no, of course it was hard because uh, you don't have a background. Uh, however, uh, as I mentioned, I was I was uh, spending even uh, more time or extra time, uh, sometimes even not sleeping. But uh, because I'm I'm very curious on those kind of things, that every time that if I don't finish it, I am there and there until. I, I figure out it, it was happening to me a lot. I remember even with the video games and actually that's why I, I, I'm not playing anymore because I can be addicted for that. That in, until I don't have the solution, I don't, I don't stop. That is something that, uh, that is happening to me uh, when this kind of programs of computers, even playing games, when I don't have the right solution, I don't stop until I, I, I get it. Um, and it's something that is happening. So I had to spend a lot of time, yes, but at the end, very rewarding in the terms of feeling because you say, well, I did something that uh, I didn't have background, but I could do it by myself. And I was very, how can I say, proud in this case. <laughs> so uh, a good feeling. And do you think that, let's say, regular people, like, let's say, because you are very curious and you are constantly trying, trying, trying. But do you think that other people who are, let's say, not so committed can still learn UiPath or they need to still have this commitment that you have? Uh, no, yeah, yes, yes, no, of course. Uh, because actually, uh, as, as, as I also mentioned, there is, there is a pro this program is uh, can have or, or can register everybody in the company. And, and of course, there is a, a lot of people that they may is not their interest. However, uh, they are invited and say, okay, as a part of maybe development, they, they take and, and say, I, I have, uh, um, I, I was checking all, talking with people as well, hey, how it works this program, just to know some, some background also details about it, what can I learn from them? 
and there are several people okay the people that is telling you oh yes you can develop very nice robots but i would re recommend you to do the simple one because uh, it will be something easy easy and uh, and you just like tick like like that but in this case um I am the person that they say no. I want to do it the extra, the extra, and I say no. I I would like to do something that actually will help me, not not to build only just to build it, just to have the tick that I say okay. I I completed the program because you can you can you you can hear it, but I just wanted to build a bot that actually helped me in my daily thing, and and that bot that I made became because I was helping uh, one audit and that, that audit was requiring certain information about this, those contracting. And I said, oh, okay, so I need to look for all this information. And at, the, at that time, also it was the, the first days of, the, of that program when you need to start the idea, what kind of bot you will build. So it, mat it, it, it matched everything. And I said, okay, I will do it this way. Even if it can be difficult, but I would like to do something that is actually uh, will help me in my job, not just just to tick. There is also the the, the people that is uh, pushing on. No, yes, uh, uh, is a very exciting program and so on. So there is several backgrounds and and but it's very understandable. Some people may they may may have different interests that. Uh, Robotics, artificial intelligence, and and is more with uh, this background about uh, finance, uh, uh, more uh, uh, in the part of the administration. Uh, in this case, but I don't know. I I consider myself this. How how can can I say it? Because in in Ambitious. Mexico we say. Los licenciados, that uh, people that uh, study like accounting, uh, all the administration bachelor, bachelor degrees, and the engineers. I'm kind of bachelor with some spirit of engineering because I I always curious with, with all those things related, especially with computers. And if you would like, let's say, you someone approaches you now that you have the experience. What would you recommend these people in how to get started? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, to how let's, I can let's recommend? Suppose that one of your colleagues, Piotr, approaches yeah. you and says, Gerardo, I'm, I want to learn about UiPath. What is your advice? How can I get started? Ah, OK. Yeah, yes. Uh, well, in this case, uh, of course, just to, to get the the initiation uh, learning program because you need to complete it uh, and in there you, you will have an idea and actually <laughs> as everything that can be um, la like uh, intimidating if we can say it like that because you are you are, you are having that those uh, uh, online uh, initiation programs and you can see everything that can you you can do and sometimes can be intimidated because it's a whoa it's it's, it's a lot really I, I will learn it and and uh, and but what is the thing with me I, I'm a very pragmatic person so everything that I could learn in online training to be honest at the end I know that by default I will not not learn too much I'm learning when I'm practicing it so for sure is yes, take it just to have it in idea what is becoming uh, for you to develop, and then of course uh, when when the, when the practice, please uh, watch a lot of YouTube videos that there are materials in that, and with that you can learn a lot as well. Taking some 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 ideas from 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 it because that uh, YouTube you you can learn a lot. Uh, you can profit a lot of, of YouTube using it in a very uh, wise manner, for sure.
Thank you very much, Gerardo, for sharing this amazing experience as a citizen developer. Hopefully you will be creating more bots in the near future. Do you have some final words that you would like to share with the audience? Yes, actually something that is happening now is that, uh, okay, because that program finished, um, the bot that it was developed, it was very well received by the community because it was a, a community of 50 people. Uh, we called it cohort, like a group. Then in, in October, it will be another community and so on. So uh, it was well received. Mm, for, for for the community uh, and it, it it even was recognized as as uh, uh, in the bot because it was taking several processes okay so it, uh, let's say it was in for that process they need to be built at least two or three bots so it was quite complex way even if it's very simple task but again, actually tasks that consumes a lot of, of, of uh, manual job. And, and that is something that I said, wow, it's, it's maybe making very, 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 very proud of that. The thing now is that, uh, okay, made it, there is a process to, to make it publish, available for all the people. Now I, I am in this stage but it crossed this uh, uh, holidays period that at the end uh, when they need i need approval from someone is in holidays and then uh, the other person is on holidays and so on so it has passed i think one month still is not is not published live and and i i leave it like that so what i notice after one month that again i need to check i said whoa <laughs> I forgot it. I, I forgot everything what I did. Not that easy, because at the end I, I have to do it. But uh, I felt that I did it. I learned it. I shouldn't stop it that way. That one month and don't don't do anything. So for sure I I I, I would have to, I I take that learning. And, and now I'm retaking one. So even I will try to build a bot that will be very something simple, but just to keep it in mind, just to not leave it that uh, I'm not pra practicing it because otherwise then I would feel again that, oh, I, I forgot everything. I don't want to, to have that feeling again uh, and even try to... Uh, uh, to start watching again those videos, the, those YouTube videos, uh, practicing it, clicking, uh, uh, trying new new applications within UiPath, and, and and so on, just just to to leave it, even if it's very simple uh, thing, and it's even not related to my job, just to have it uh, alive with with me that knowledge, and that knowledge can be uh, even. Um, yeah, life, life, life. One one person told me once, uh, if you want also to learn something and don't forget it, try to masterize by even talking about it. Uh, I don't know, maybe even, why not? Uh, have a speech about it, about about this, uh, talking or try to, to talk um, with people that is interested to try even to teach, it's not to teach, but at least just to say, oh, you can do this and that, we can try it, because that it will help you even to learn it, to, to keep it for you. So, uh, and, and, and that is something that I've been observed. So every time that there is an opportunity uh, that I need to learn something and I would keep it, I don't like only to forget it, uh, just but to keep it with me, I will always try to even do speeches about it, uh, try to talk with people about it, uh, and even try to uh, teach what I learn, not that as a as a person that knows that, but teach what I learn, and is how you will uh, fit that knowledge to keep it with you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Gerardo. 
hopefully this important teaching about that you can become also a citizen developer and you can do transitions in your career is going to help you. Thank you very much and see you the next time. Bye bye.